Pesticides are used widely in agriculture to control insects, weeds, and fungal pathogens, which cause damage to crops and economic loss to farmers. Insecticides in particular can have drastic effects on non-target organisms, such as other invertebrates and many vertebrate species, including humans. One approach to identifying these effects is by comparing organic farms, which do not use pesticides, to conventional farms, which do. Currently, a wide range of highly toxic chemicals are used to control insect pests in conventional agriculture. Both laboratory research and observations in the wild suggest that such compounds can have suppressive effects on immune function and can negatively affect survival and development in different types of animals. Ironically, some of these chemicals may be counterproductive due to their impacts on the natural predators and pathogens of pest species. Many of these effects are underexplored, particularly with respect to the primary consumers of night-flying insects, bats. Bats, just like humans, are mammals, and like most mammals, they give birth to live young. Bats are a monophyletic group, which means that all lineages evolved from a single common ancestor over 58 million years ago. Bats are therefore a unique and special group in the animal kingdom. Did you know that between 20 and 25% of all mammal species are bats? This makes them the second most diverse order of mammals next to rodents. They are also the only mammals capable of true flight. Perhaps due to their ability to fly, bats are incredibly diverse and widespread. They occur everywhere on the globe except the extreme polar regions. And, as you can see, they come in many forms. And while some bats may very well have faces that only a mother could love, such as this wrinkle face bat, others seem as though they were designed in a toy factory, such as these Hunter and white bats. Now that we have seen just some of the diversity of bats, we may wish to know why they are important. Bats perform many services that are useful for both ecosystems and people. Many bats eat fruit and nectar, aiding plants in seed dispersal and pollination. Guano, which is the formal name for bat droppings, makes excellent fertilizer. Bats also eat insects, which is very useful for humans, because they eat insects such as mosquitoes that can transmit diseases, as well as other insects that cause damage to crops. Let's consider the role of bats in agriculture. Bats are estimated to save U.S. agricultural producers billions of dollars a year by consuming economically important pests. This means less crop damage and fewer pesticides, which benefits the economy, the environment, and public health. A single colony of free-tailed bats, such as those shown here, can consume thousands of metric tons of pests in a year. Without the help of these charismatic keepers of the night, prices for products such as cotton, corn, and produce could rise substantially. Forty-two of the 47 species of bats that occur in the United States are insectivores, yet little is known about the effects of pesticides on their health and on their populations. The focus of my research is to identify these effects by sampling bats foraging in organic and conventional agricultural landscapes. I will perform a series of assays to assess their health. I will monitor survival and reproduction by marking individuals and recapturing them later. And I will characterize their dietary diversity and composition from guano using molecular techniques. Ultimately, the goal is to promote natural control of insect populations and to reduce the use of insecticides in agriculture with the knowledge that by promoting a healthy planet, we promote healthy people. Thank you for taking the time to learn about these charismatic and highly beneficial animals.